Hello, hello. Welcome to Avio's Journey. My name is Anthony Pika, and this show is all about helping the new and upcoming voiceover artists grow their business, sidestep all the crazy things that this guy seems to step on. It is June 20th. Uh, it's a Tuesday, and I'm excited to be talking to you today about a specific type of audition when we're talking about audiobook auditions. Uh, I've been doing a lot of uh, collecting audiobook auditions for Academy Voices. We've been getting a lot of a lot of leads, you know, one to two new books, new leads every single day, and been collecting a lot of auditions. <laughs> And I, I want to talk to you about, I think, the importance of putting your best foot forward in the audition and how to do it. So for starters, I think it's really important to not slate your audio unless someone asks you to. So by slate, I mean put you, you know, say your first name, last name in the audio, you know what I mean, like Anthony Pika narrator, you know what I mean, you don't need to slate unless you are asked, okay, that's an important thing, so unless that's in the directions, don't do it. Another thing is, make sure that the audio, unless otherwise asked, is fully produced, you know, there's no background noise, there's no mouth noise, clicks, um, your EQ, your editing, everything is ready to go, Unless you are asked for it to be raw. I think the thing is, is that people are going to be judging you based on these things. So you want to make sure that they are the best that they can be. And in, unless you're told otherwise, assume that you're competing against a bunch of other people who are doing that very thing, right? Editing and doing the best they can with it. So make sure that you do that as well. Also, I find that... The big question I get asked a lot is how long should my audiobook uh, auditions be? And a lot of times I get two pages from people to audition with, you know, from clients. And I find that two minutes, you know, up to two minutes, You, I think one to three minutes Averaging out around two minutes is a good length for auditioning. Sometimes people send five, 10, 15 minutes. Sometimes people just send an entire script. But I think that after a couple of minutes of audition, that's enough. I will say that if there is dialogue, if there's something in it that they send the audition that they're trying to really hear, you might want to do a little bit longer. So at least read through the audition you know, it shouldn't take you very long, just a few moments, few minutes, read through, I mean, you know, read through it quietly and see what it is and see, you know, if you feel like you need to do that more, you know what I mean? You need to do more than just the two minutes, but typically one to three minutes is all I recommend you auditioning for. Cause I think after that, if they don't know, you know, whether they want to work with you or not, you know, they want to move to the next phase, right. With getting like a 15 minute sample, then I don't, I think that that's enough. Again, the only caveat there is if there is, you know, dialogue or multiple types of uh, interest that they have and are trying to figure out. So that's another thing. Also, another thing is how you title the file name is important and the type of file that you send. Always make sure, I think in audition purposes, MP3s, are always what we typically ask for auditions. And the reason being is because they're so much easier. They're, they're smaller files, easier to share, okay, as opposed to WAV files being a lot larger. So usually do an MP3s. And I always like to do like first and last initial. So first name, last initial, like first, last, you know, first initial of your last name. All right, so like Anthony P, that's how I'm going to name the file. And I usually do like an underscore at the title of the name of the title of, of the audition, underscore whatever, you know, you're auditioning for like through. Uh, in our case, Academy Voices is how I have people do their titling. But pay attention to the directions and what they ask you for the title. That's really important as well. Uh, and. Again, with the MP3 file, I typically ask for 44 or 41, um, what, 44, 100, excuse me, 44,100 hertz, uh, 16 bit, and, you know, a, a constant bit rate of 192. This is typical ACX standards, which tend to now be most standards overall, unless you're going to be sharing it individually, like from a website, in which case, you know, they'll want whatever file type they want. But that's typically the file type 44, 100, and uh, 16 bit. 
Uh, can you do, you know, 32 bit floating? I mean, yes, that's fine, but 16 bit in general. But that's kind of how it should look from a standpoint of, you know, the the file itself, the editing, go right into it. Don't don't give a, a lead in or anything. Don't talk. You know, chat on the, you know, just, just do the voiceover uh, and submit it. Uh, the next thing is, is uh, from just a quick from an acting standpoint, uh, don't be afraid to interject your personality. So I'm just going to talk quickly about this because, you know, this is a, a, a bigger conversation, you know, about acting in general. But when you're doing these spots, interject your personality. Let you, you know, don't let the words control you. You control the words. And also, don't be afraid to realize that you may not be the right fit for the book. That doesn't mean that you don't audition, but it just means that if you don't get the role, it doesn't always mean that your performance was poor. Okay? It could mean that it's not exactly what they're looking for. Does that make sense? And because of that, that's why it's important to keep auditioning and to keep trying, but to keep interjecting your personality and seek out feedback. It's difficult to get feedback from the client usually because they're listening to a lot and they're not, their job is not to give you feedback. But part of what we do at Academy Voices, what I try to do is I do try to give feedback when I can. I mean, we've been getting busier and busier with leads. It's getting harder to just give individual feedback. But if I hear something, you know what I mean? Uh, I try to give feedback to people, whether it's their audio, whether the, the sound, right, the quality or the voice acting itself. But typically, I'm not listening to your voice acting because I'm expecting you to make those acting decisions, right, as a uh, a person who is, you know, marketing your cert, you know, marketing you. Now, as a as a coach, right, it would be my job then to look at that style, and like I was saying, enter the easiest. The first start is put personality into your work. Slow down. People read really fast. Slow down. Okay. Uh, most of the time, whatever speed you're going at, try to do it at 70, 80 percent of that. <laughs> just slow down. Take your time. There are moments to speed up, but there are moments to slow down. Okay. But, but some don't read it so fast that we lose the enjoyment of listening to the words and imagining it. Okay. All right. So listen, thank you guys so much for listening. Try to get a bunch in here, but uh, for auditioning for audiobooks. So uh, take a moment to hit that like and subscribe button. Also, check out Avio's Journey Elite Academy. There'll be a link below. There also is going to be a link for our webinar this weekend where I'm talking about building websites that books that you actually book work with, uh, not just building a glorified business card. All right. So there'll be a link below to sign up. Check out that as well as uh, we're going to be I'm not ready to give the link out yet, but we are going to be opening up Academy Voices to uh, the voiceover community to join as we're growing and we need more voice actors. So be ready for that link. Uh, we will be free to join and um, yeah, we're excited about that. And I'll talk more about that later. But uh, thank you so much for uh, watching. As always, have a wonderful Tuesday. I'll talk to you soon. Bye bye.